How will the Eurofighter Typhoon increase Poland's military capabilities? On the one side, as an air dominance fighter, the Eurofighter Typhoon has uh, certain highly developed capabilities that you wouldn't find on an F-16. Uh, we talk about the radar or about uh, the thrust to weight ratio, which uh, gives the pilot the ability to even fly supersonic, means uh, faster than the speed of sound without afterburner. So therefore you have a really good um, fuel um, efficiency and a longer, longer station time. That means you can stay longer in the air with the same amount of fuel. The Eurofighter Typhoon was developed as a uh, uh, highly agile um, air dominance fighter. That means uh, not only that we can fly up to 55,000 feet with uh, a, a big combat load, but we can also um, perform dogfights even in high altitudes where other aircraft uh, um, barely pull any Gs and the Eurofighter Typhoon can still pull 5 or 6 Gs, which you wouldn't do with a legacy aircraft like an F-18 or F-16. Eurofighter Typhoon um, has a low radar cross-section, so it's also hard detectable on the radar, but it's not stealth. On the other side, uh, it has a really high payload, so with our um, uh, certain hard points, we are able to have a, a variety of weapons, air to air and air to ground at the same time on the aircraft. And uh, with a, paired with a high thrust to weight ratio, um, you have the ability to fly an air-to-air -air mission, um, perform your air-to-air -air duty, and uh, retaining your air-to-ground ordnance, the bombs, you don't have to jettison them, because the uh, jet has so much uh, thrust that you are still um, agile and maneuverable, even though you have the air-to-ground uh, weapons on board. And that makes a big difference, again, to uh, uh, aircraft or fighters that have a lower thrust-to-weight ratio, like an F-16 or F-18. Um, the Eurofighter Typhoon, the Eurofighter Typhoon integration of weapons um, offers a high variety of weapons from uh, different manufacturers. If we talk about uh, air-to-air -air weapons, you can look at the Meteor missile on the one side, on the other side at the MRAM, for example, which is also in Polish stock, and it's integrated already in the Eurofighter Typhoon. In the past, we have uh, we've done a good job in listening to the customer, integrating um, the weapons that they want on the, on the aircraft. So, possibly there's all options on the table to integrate weapons um, that are polished stock and that integrates, uh, includes weapons like you just uh, mentioned before. How to integrate um, weapons or how to transfer the um, assembly of weapons into Poland is um, it's a topic that we have to look in, in case to case because I cannot talk or speak for the key suppliers like uh, the Meteor for example which is from MBDA. Uh, but what I can say is that um, we always look for any opportunity to transfer technology to see what um, options we can offer for Poland um, to uh, increase uh, jobs and welfare in Poland. So um, we are convinced that we have a competitive offer for the uh, Polish market and uh, all options, all possibilities are on the table. That means that can go from technology transfer up to um, assembly lines.